Fireworks. Barbecues. The lake. Family. Our country. America's birthday is our nation's celebration of telling a tyrant and his government that we Americans weren't like the serfs and the slaves that marked the decline of history's dead empires. But when our forefathers picked up their privately owned weapons of war and bought our freedom from England at the cost of their own blood, tyranny and evil were not vanquished into permanent oblivion. No, that tyranny still lives. Instead of wearing a red coat, today it wears a professor's jacket. Instead of the king's cannons, tyranny's teachers have invaded our schools to indoctrinate and corrupt our youth. And instead of aristocratic generals arrayed against us on horseback, America's autocrats instead slither through the halls of Congress and state legislatures, taxing us through representation that would make even the 1700s British blush. The battlefield that tyranny has laid siege to today is on our kids, our families, our communities, our churches, and our culture. That is truly the only way to bring America down. Now, we've all heard the phrase that our ancestors pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. In a day when most politicians don't even give a damn, we Americans who love our imperfect history and heritage must once again band together as brothers and sisters and tell the tyrants, no. Happy Independence Day.